Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and right now I am showing you this nature watch kit called Forest in a Box. It comes with all these different specimens as well as these little cards that describe what is in these little bags. But we want to put this onto a little display board because we found that we weren't really using it that much when it was all contained in a box. So I showed you some of the materials that we're going to use for this project but the most important thing that you're going to need is some heavy duty chipboard. So I'm going to take this from the back of the watercolor paper that we're going to use for this project. This is some very thick chipboard. You cannot bend this and that's what's important when you're looking for a piece of chipboard for this project. You want something that's extremely thick and sturdy. Now I'm using some glue in order to adhere the watercolor paper to the chipboard. This is just a glue stick. You do want to make sure that you get glue on both the watercolor paper as well as the chipboard. And a glue stick is a nice dry glue, so it's going to work pretty well for this. You just want to make sure that you put enough on so that you get a nice good seal. The next thing we're going to do is border the watercolor paper and I am using some drywall tape. This was just in my craft supplies and I think I might have thought that it was book binding tape when I found it in the house. But so far it's worked really well for our projects. So again you want to put a, a really generous amount of glue on both the drywall tape as well as the watercolor paper and especially on the back onto the chipboard. Now you could border this with masking tape or washi tape or you could even leave it without a border. I just really like the way that it gives a nice finished edge to this. Now it's important that you do use a lot of glue. I can't stress this enough because it's going to start to peel up if you do not use enough because the chipboard really absorbs the glue quite a bit. All right, so now it is all prepped and ready for our beautiful samples. You can see that the front and the back look good, but we're going to be gluing these things down onto the watercolor paper. Now I'm going to keep the little cards that come with all these samples because I'm going to be writing the names down next to the samples. I want to make sure that I get them all done accurately. Now I didn't really care for the lichen that came in the kit and so I am going to choose one from my own stash and I can't decide which one to use. I kind of want to use both of them. So now it's time to glue everything down and you want to use a hot glue gun for this and you don't want to put too much because you don't want to show but a hot glue gun is going to be your best bet when it comes to keeping things adhered because the kids are going to be looking at this and possibly touching it although some of the specimens are quite fragile and you want to make sure that it's going to stay onto this board. Now this is kind of a permanent display because if you try to remove these items, they would get ruined. So you want to make sure that you have everything down where you want it. Now that everything's glued down, it's time to label everything and it's good that I kept those cards so that I can remember what each item is. I'm just using a pencil just in case I make a mistake. And now all the labeling is done and I really like the way it looks, but we're going to just do two more things. Now all of those cards had some great information on them, so I'm using an envelope and I'm just cutting it down so that I can store those cards on the back of this display, that way they don't get lost or ruined, we'll always have them right there, but it's not going to be the place that we're going to keep them all the time when we're using this for educational purposes. At the end of this video, I'll show you what we're going to use. So now it's just time to add some string to the back of this display so that we can hang it up in the schoolroom. And for this, I am just using some twine and again, my hot glue gun. I'm going to get one side adhered pretty well and then add another generous amount of glue. And then I'm just using some more drywall tape in order just to finish off that, uh, that twine and make it look nice. Then I measured off just estimating how much I needed and trimmed the extra piece and now I'm just gluing on a little bit of that drywall tape to finish it off again. Really like the way this turned out. So I have this box here that I'm going to put all of these cards in it. That way the kids can pull one of the cards out, identify the specimen on the display board and read a little bit about it. It makes it a nice interactive 
display and I think that it's beautiful in our schoolroom. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think I'm a little bit addicted to gluing down things onto display boards. I think this is my third one and counting. But it looks so beautiful in the schoolroom and my kids and I just love it. This complements our botany main lesson block and if you want to see some of the other projects that we did for that unit, you can tap on the screen right now and don't forget that you can find me on a daily basis by visiting me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.